200 black people die every single day in these United States who would not have died if the health experience of African Americans was equivalent to that of whites. African American men, women, and children suffer from a variety of health disparities, including high blood pressure, HIV AIDS, diabetes, and higher rates of death during childbirth, and hospitalizations for asthma. The CDC defines health disparities as preventable differences in opportunities to achieve optimal health that are experienced by socially disadvantaged populations. This includes poverty, educational inequality, and inadequate access to health care. There are multiple ways in which health disparities can be improved, such as raising awareness, expanding health insurance coverage, improving numbers of providers in underserved communities, and increasing knowledge of these disparities. The Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, was passed in 2010 to make health insurance more affordable to more people. Its purpose was to expand the Medicaid program to cover all adults with income below the poverty line and to lower the cost of health care. Obesity is strongly linked to high blood pressure in African American men. According to the CDC, cultural dietary patterns or fear of social stigmatization deter significant changes in diet and lifestyle. Due to unequal health care access, socioeconomic status, and less access to early prostate screenings, African American men experience higher diagnoses of prostate cancer and are two and a half times more likely to die from the disease. African American men are also more likely to have diagnosed or undiagnosed diabetes than non-Hispanic white Americans and are less likely to adhere to treatment. Strokes are common in African American men as well which is why it is very important to recognize the early signs. Using the FAST method to quickly identify a stroke could be life-saving. Almost half of all African Americans have a risk factor that can lead to a stroke, such as high blood pressure or sickle cell disease. Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in men, and about 80% of them are preventable. HIV AIDS is one of the leading causes of death in African American men. While many who contract the virus remain asymptomatic, some common symptoms include fatigue, chills, joint pain, and night sweats. HIV AIDS affects African American males at a much higher rate than white males, and they are six times more likely to die from the disease than non-Hispanic white men. Without access to treatment, HIV AIDS can be fatal. The most common methods of transmission of HIV AIDS are unprotected sex, needle sharing, infections in the blood being passed, and infection being passed down from a mother to her unborn child. According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, the number one cause of death in women in the U.S. is heart disease, which African American women have a higher risk for. They also have a higher rate of HIV infection and diabetes. African American women also face higher mortality rates than Caucasian women, from health factors such as coronary artery disease, stroke, heart failure, hypertension, and HIV AIDS. According to the CDC, African American women are three to four times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes than white women. African American women also have almost three times the risk to hemorrhage during pregnancy, which can be fatal. As previously mentioned, African American women have a higher mortality rate for coronary artery disease and hypertension, with the rates at 69% higher for coronary artery disease and 352% higher for hypertension. The leading cause of death in African American women is heart disease. Some factors that contribute to heart disease include smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. In 2009 and 2010, the prevalence of healthcare disparities for African American children and adolescents were significantly higher than those of Caucasian children and adolescents. Low socioeconomic status has been associated with poorer health in childhood. For example, children of lower socioeconomic status individuals are less likely to receive vaccinations or have contact with physicians at early ages. Chronic impairments prevalent and children of a lower socioeconomic status can have devastating effects on their lives. Child mortality rates, lack of access to prenatal treatment, and higher risk of asthma are all examples of these impairments. In this graphic, 
It can be seen that while black children are more likely to be hospitalized for asthma than any other ethnicity of children, they are almost five times more likely to be hospitalized than white children. Sadly, mortality rates for black infants under the age of one are significantly higher than any other ethnicity. This is one of the biggest health disparities in America today. Poor oral health can be linked to heart disease, stroke, and diabetic complications. According to a Surgeon General study entitled Oral Health in America, there is a silent outbreak of dental and oral diseases that limits operations. Though some progress has been made in combating childhood obesity in African Americans, there's still more to be done. Health disparities include not only health conditions and disadvantaged groups, but also limited access to medical treatment and care. Health disparities in children are also apparent in serious conditions, such as kidney failure. African American children are referred less quickly for kidney transplants than white children. Health disparities expand beyond African Americans to affect many groups, and it is a large goal of those in the medical field to eliminate all of them. This is why programs like the African American Wellness Project, which is committed to eliminating healthcare inequalities, are so important. The mission of the African American Wellness Project is to empower the African American community to improve health outcomes and promote wellness. The goal is to inform African Americans about the importance of a healthy lifestyle, prevention, screening, and early detection. While the passing of the Affordable Care Act has had an impact on health disparities for African Americans, there is still more to be done. Through spreading awareness, programs like the Wellness Project, and gradually building trust, healthcare disparities can be eliminated completely.